What's up, guys? I hope you're well. Today we're checking out Al Murray. What hell is like in different countries? But beforehand, you got to have a beer with Al Murray. And today I'm having a beer from Breckenridge Brewery, out of uh, Littleton, Colorado. Owned, they were formerly owned by ABM Bev. They're now owned by some marijuana company. Cool looking can, looks good. It is 5.3 percent. The pint right here. Got myself a nice little pour. Give a sip. Pretty good, a little tart, a little sweet, very light. It's a hazy American wheat, bursting with peach flavor. Yummy. Let's get into the routine, shall we? And the truth is, there are no consequences in this life. So what we need to do, if we're going to straighten this country out, which you really agree with me, Rhoda, when I say this, we need to bring back to Great Britain a sense of hell, right? The idea, if we fuck up in this life, we will burn in sulfur for all eternity in the next life. Now, right? I realise this is going to be quite hard to convince you of, but mm. it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, uh, now, I need a Christian for some assistance here. Theolo I'm not going to have a pop. I need theological not assistance. Me. Do not you have me. any Christians present? Nope, not yeah, me. A bit of point in there. Yeah, what's your name, love? <laughs> Gail. Gail. Beautiful British name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking there about you blowing. Shame. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> This like stage of the evening. <laughs> you got you blowing something off. Now the <laughs> truth is, you're a Christian, so you, you 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 go to church, so you understand the idea of redemption, the yes. idea of forgiveness. You understand the idea of Christ laying down his life so that we may be forgiven our sins. Yep. <laughs> you understand all that? Yeah, you understand the basically you understand the notion of eternity, don't you, love? Yep. Yeah, well, so do I, because I went to church last weekend. Let me tell you this, that service went on for fucking ever. <laughs> Listen, right? If it took me 45 minutes to open the wine and get the bar snacks out, I'd be in the deepest fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, the truth is... The truth is, the problem with the idea of hell is no one's frightened of it anymore. I'm going to describe hell for you now, and you're not going to bat an eyelid, are you? You're not going to bat a fucking eyelid, yeah? Uh, here we go. And while your body's mouldering in the grave and the worms are eating your flesh, your soul will be taken to a place of eternal and infernal damnation and boiled in boiling oil for a thousand generations. Then after this, two sulfurous demons, emissaries of Satan himself, will come and pull out your kidneys and burn them on the red-hot coals of hell until they're black. And another demon will come, he'll pull out your eyeballs and stick them on the red-hot poker and shove them up your arse, they'll come out your mouth, and this will really hurt and go on forever. I'm kind of hungry now hearing that. That made me a little bit hungry. Tell me more, Al. <laughs> None of you particularly bothered by that, are you? <laughs> if that'd be in a room full of Londoners, we're all thinking, well, come on there! <laughs> Do yourself the fucking devil, you pointy tail cunt! Come on! <laughs> Now, the point is, when you describe hell, it tells you everything you need to know about the person describing it, yeah? Yep. I describe hell then in a normal British accent, and it turns out we're not frightened of it because we, the British, are stoic, hard as nails fucking people. Hell, when described in an accent, tells you everything you need to know about the people describing it. It's an interesting thing. For instance, hell, described in a French accent, tells you the French are a bunch of sensuous, yeah, lascivious, filthy people <laughs> who can find pleasure wow. in absolutely anything. Right? Yeah, I mean, hell, described in a French accent, sounds like a recipe, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and while the body is lying down and the worms inside the flesh, we take it to a place which is very hot and cover it in oil. And after this, we have got the oil all over the body, and when it is tender, we take all the kidneys and cook them to the brown on the outside. We sit in the middle with some white wine vinegar, some sort of tomorrow. <laughs> and after this, we take the eyebrows, piss them on the poker, up the arse, and out them out. Now I'm really hungry. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> and a closed caption. Swing a fucking miss, YouTube. God, the closed captioning on what I'm seeing on the screen. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Hell in an American accent sounds like a theme park, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, why are you lying down? The worms are in your flesh. You'll be taken to a place of return and cold at least. Well, your body will be covered in boiling oil, and two demons will come and out, take out your kidneys, and burn them on the red-hot coals of hell itself. Then after this, another demon will come, pull out your eyeballs, place them on a red-hot poker, stick them up your ass, and they'll come out your mouth. <laughs> With a lock through. 
I'd wait. I'd wait in a line for like two hours for that. That sounds fun. Hell, in a German accent, just simply sounds like a list of instructions. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> Hell, in a Dutch accent, sounds like a pretty good stag do, actually, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, why are you lying down? <laughs> the worms inside you. Yeah, we'll take you to the hottest place you can imagine. Imagine, <laughs> imagine being so hot you can't stand it no longer. Right. And then we cover your body in oil all over you. It's oil. In oil. Two demons, two together at the same time. That's right. <laughs> two, of them. two demons, the way you want it to be. Two demons. They come and they take out your kidneys to the pink and heart. And this will cost you 40 euros. It's, just, it's too much. But there is, however, one group of people who can teach us a true lesson about hell and who we should listen to, who can help us turn this country round. I am, of course, talking about Her Majesty's loyal and noble subjects, the Scots. Now, ah. we got any jocks in tonight? Yeah. Loads of jocks. Jock down there. What's your name, son? Jamie. Jamie. Beautiful British name. Comes from the <laughs> Celtic name, meaning subject of the English. Now, <laughs> tell me. Tell me, Jamie, where are you from in Scotland, sir? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. So you have a keen understanding of the notion of hell. Look <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking colour radio gone. Oh, in his arm. Now, <laughs> you have a keen understanding. What do you do for a living, Jamie? Property developer. Property developer. Are you an evil property developer? Yeah. Of course, they all are. Now, greedy. <laughs> greedy. Really? You like buy old flats and do them up going. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now, point is this. You jocks, you work hard, you play hard, don't you? Don't you, Jamie? You get stuck in! Yeah, Scots get stuck in, the jocks, you get stuck in, don't you? Yeah? Yeah, you get your nose on the grindstone, you work hard, you play yeah. hard. And the reason for this, you take, the reason you take life seriously is because you understand the notion of hell. And the reason you understand hell is because hell, in a Scottish accent, is the most terrifying fucking thing yeah. you will ever hear. Yeah. And why your buddy is mouldering in the grave! <laughs> Eating your flesh! <laughs> your soul would be thick at the place of a puddle and then fuddle damnation. <laughs> boiling, boiling oil for a thousand fucking generations. <laughs> and then, who sell for us demons ever since I've seen himself? Beals above the dark lawn will come and they'll put ooh your kidneys. They'll put ooh your kidneys. And me when they'll put ooh your kidneys. <laughs> and then they'll talk to those kidneys while they're still beating and they'll place them on the head. Oh, call the hell itself! And bum, bum, bum! Bum, those fucking kidneys to the black! Ozzy impression would just sound like a Foster's commercial. <laughs> and a demon in hell coming and pull out your eyeballs, eh? You put your eyeballs, little Jamie, you pull out. When they, when they go pop, pop, go the eyeballs. And I'll take that head up, hellish poker, and I'll stick him on a poker, and I'll find a tiny wee shiting asshole. <laughs> and when you shite, when you scream, and I'll shy asshole, and I'll come out your mouth with your shy there. It's the one for fucking ever, so they got high, like 50p for a cup of tea, please, God. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> nailed it. Nailed it, man. I would love to sit down at a pub and have a wee pint with Al or even a wee, wee dram. Uh, he and I, I think, would get along very, very well. Uh, we're both well educated. Uh, he studied h- history very hard. I studied history very lately. I minored in it. It's fine. Uh, I'm a librarian, so I'm good with facts, good with information. And he is an information machine. Al Murray is insane, man. Holy cow. You just, you learn so much from this guy, but at the same time, you're laughing your ass off. But you're freaking getting educated. It's like, where the hell were you at university? I could have used a professor like Al Murray. Um I would have aced his classes. I think everyone would have aced his classes because he's so hysterical, but he's so damn accurate. That's the funny thing. Like, the, you know, the the one yesterday, he was so freaking accurate with it, and he's so accurate with this, with the accents. And Yeah, it does. Yeah, you're right. 
you know, in American, yeah, it sounds like you're at an, an amusement park. It sounds like you're at Six Flags or at Disneyland. Like, oh boy, we're going on the hell ride, like a water flume, <laughs> but uh, a log flume. But yeah, Al Murray is a freaking genius. I'm enjoying um, reacting to him this week. I hope you guys are enjoying him too. Um, let me know in the comments one of your favorite Al Murray um, routines and sketches, and I'll, I'll look into it down the road. Probably not this week. I already have my list, but down the road, I'll definitely look into more Al Murray after this week. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe, and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye.